Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to be doing a what's in my handbag video. Um, I've seen quite a few of these online and I just really wanted to do it. So first things first, this is my handbag that I use every day. It's obviously quite large. It's got a lot of stuff in there. This is what I take to work with me every day. It's from H&M, I think it was. 35 pounds i got it quite a while ago it's just black and then it's got these gold um dots all over it and the same on the back too um and then it's got a red i don't know if you can see a red lining inside um and there's just a strap that comes over the top and buckles up like this to be honest i never usually have the strap done up just because I've got too much stuff in there, I can never usually close it. So let's have a look inside. So yeah, as you can see, look at the red lining inside, which I thought was really quite a nice detail. Um, and it's actually really good quality, considering I've had this probably nearly coming up to a year and it's lasted me so long. Okay, my handles are coming fraying a little bit but that's purely because I just put a lot of stuff in there and it's very heavy so first things first it has lots of compartments inside it has a compartment here a zip compartment in the middle and then a compartment here which is handy for me because obviously I have a lot of stuff so in one side compartment I have my makeup bag which obviously you've all seen so I'm not going to show you what's in there um now I take that every day with out with me some people may think that's excessive but that's just my personal choice of what i like to do so next up i have a zara receipt what did i buy in zara i actually don't remember what i bought in zara so that's helpful and then i can't even read what that receipt's for so that's not even helpful and then that's one compartment in the middle zip section, I have my Tangle Teaser. Now, this is my go-to hairbrush. It's small, so I can just pop it in my handbag. Um, whenever I need to just do my hair, I just use my Tangle Teaser. I much prefer using my Tangle Teaser to a normal hairbrush. I don't know why, just it's easier to hold and use. So I have this one in black. Um, I think I got this for Christmas one year in my stocking. I'm not quite sure, I can't really remember. Um, then I have my oh, contraceptive pill. <clears throat> okay, sunglasses, which are these ones like this, and they've got a thin gold bar here, um, and they just look like this. Now, these are from Accessorize. I actually bought these in the airport um, when I was going on holiday, not to Gibraltar, but to Gran Canaria in the summer, just because I had a pair of black sunglasses, really cheap, loved them, they were such a nice style. They were from Primark, they were two pounds, I think, something ridiculous, but they were so nice, and my boyfriend stepped on them and broke them. He didn't mean to step on them, I can't really blame him, but still, he trod on my sunglasses and broke them. So I, last minute, and oh, this was like the day before I was going on holiday, by the way, so I had to buy myself a pair of sunglasses in the airport, and I found these and I just fell in love with them. I think they were like £10 which for me is quite pricey for a pair of sunglasses but I was in need so I got those. Then I've got my phone obviously I have the iPhone 7 um, in white with a gold back and then I just obviously have my crab case because I love it. Next up I've got my door keys so I keep my door keys and car keys separate just because um, you'll see why. So I like a little pom as you can see. So I've got my door keys and then I've got a purple pom. Which again I think was from Accessorize. I'm not too sure. I got it a very long time ago. Um, so that's my door keys. And then I have my car keys. So as you can see this is why I keep them separate. Just because I have two different poms. So obviously I've got my car key. My AA thing. Because um, I'm with the AA. Uh, when my friends got me a little key that from Swarovski that has, I don't know if my camera will focus, that has um, diamonds in it which is quite nice. I then have a black pom and then I have 
I don't know if you guys can see this poo, squishy poo keyring. Um, just because who who doesn't love that? I mean, the poo emoji, one of my favourites. So yeah, that's my car key. Which I also keep in there. I also keep hundreds of these. I mean, they get stretched out of shape because my hair's thick. But these, I don't know what they're called, plastic hair bubbles? Everyone knows what I'm talking about. I've got them in all different colours, white, pink, everything. I keep loads of them in my handbag because I'm always wanting to change my hair throughout the day and tie it up. You can get these in a packet of like four. I'm not sure. I think my brother got me a pack of them. Um, I'm not quite sure where they're from, but I always keep these in my handbag and they're really cheap too. So, <clears throat> okay, surprise, surprise, Nando's receipt. It's me and my boyfriend go there a lot, so that's that. Okay, I've got a receipt for uh, travel money. I changed up some Euro uh, pounds into euros. Um, a cinema receipt, um, don't know why I've kept that. You can tell there's a theme, I just keep my receipts just because I chuck them in my bag and I can't be bothered. Oh, we went to see a simple favour at the cinema, I highly recommend if anyone hasn't seen it with Blake Lively and Anna Kendrick. I love like detective films like that, so highly recommend that. I don't, to be honest, I don't know why I've kept those tickets. Um, I've got a, a piece of paper. Oh. I wrote down people's names on a piece of paper because um, my worker hosting a quiz and I needed to know who was going, so I've got a list of that. Don't know why I've kept that. Oh my god, okay, this is literally the story of my life. I've got a caramel chocolate bar. I actually don't know how long this has been in here, so I, I really don't want to eat. I do want to eat it, but I don't know how long this has been in here. And I'm guessing it's been in there for well over a month. I obviously chucked this in my handbag one morning when I was like, oh, I'll eat that later. Um, but I never got around to it. So that's in my handbag, which is probably gone. Actually, it's still quite firm. So I reckon I could get away with that. Save that for later. <laughs> okay, next up, I've got a receipt for Costa Coffee. I've got a brie and bacon panini, one of my favourites. Uh, who's else's favourite is that? Because it's certainly mine. Okay, I've just got a little bit of paper that's all screwed up that just says 1000 on it. And I have no idea why. So, if anybody can shed some light into this, maybe my sisters, no idea. Can tell you. And more to the point, why is it still in my handbag? Like, this is just the story of my life. Okay, I've got some wrapping paper and sellotape. Oh my gosh, I've got a a price tag that says $3.99. Like, why I've still got this? I just, I mean, I've got more receipts. Oh, petrol. Another receipt for Tesco, two toothbrushes. Oh, okay, so I bought two toothbrushes uh, for a pound each, clearly in desperate need for a toothbrush. A 5p, just buried at the bottom of my handbag. And then anybody else, other girls have this? I've just got a mountain of hair clips just floating at the bottom of my bag. Oh, my bag's actually disgusting at the bottom, like full of crumbs and stuff. Ugh. Okay, yeah, so I've got a mountain of hair clips with hair on them, lovely. Uh, so I need to maybe have a good clean out on my handbag. And then, so that was the middle compartment all done. So makeup bag and then all this stuff. And then finally onto this compartment, I've got my purse. Now my sister actually got this for me for either Christmas or my birthday one year. I think it's from a company called Handbag Mad. I'm not quite sure. It's just a grey purse. Um, and then it opens like this. And it looks like this inside. And I love it because it's got so much space. So obviously in here, it's got, I've got loads of cards and receipts. And then you've got a little other section that you can take out and sometimes when I'm using a clutch bag I just use this um, and then I put all my cards in here and then change in here so I love that I'm not sure how much this was because obviously I got it as a gift but it's lovely leather it's lasted me a long time it's big it's spacious exactly what I need so next up <coughs> I have 
Okay, blank bits of paper. Clearly wanted to write a note for something. Another blank bit of paper. Okay, I can't show you this. This is my um, parking permit for work in my work car park. But obviously, I can't show you because I don't want people to know where I work. So that's that. Um, a diary for my work of uh, who's in the office when. I clearly need to know that. Okay, so I've got a travel bag from when I changed up at Euros. Um, oh. There's a 20 and a 10 cent in there. Why do I keep these things in my handbag? Oh, and a two euro just floating. I mean, I can't change coins back. It's so annoying that you can't change coins back. It's just like ridiculous. Okay, I'm now taking everything out just because I've got so much stuff, I can't even. Okay, everything's out of the bag. Right, so what have I got here? Okay, so I've got a load of, I'm just going to cover the company name. Um, okay, how am I gonna do this? Yeah, like this. Uh, charity quiz and bingo tickets because my work are hosting a quiz and there's going to be a raffle and bingo, so it sounds like a really fun night. Um, obviously, I picked up a load because um, I've got lots of family and friends coming, so I need to give them to them. I have then got another diary for my work. Oh, I've dropped something. I've got a post-it note with somebody's bank details on. No idea whose, so I obviously owe someone money. <sighs> this is just a story of my life. A receipt for Sainsbury's. Um, I bought stuff in there yesterday. What's this? Uh, I printed out an email from work. Okay, I then, I always um, have a notepad in my bag just so I can, whenever I think of things, make notes, what have I put in here? Oh, I've looked up holidays and wrote down um, when the best flights are um, and things like that. So it's always best to keep a notepad. This one's from Tesco, it's just a pink one and it has lined paper in it just like this. I just found them so handy. Um, but for some reason I don't actually have a pen in my bag so I can't write in here but I did, I'm sure I did have one. I love to keep one in my bag, just think they're so handy. And then finally I have my diary. Now I'm going to cover up my sermon. Uh, my boyfriend actually got me this and it's actually personalised. I don't know if you can see. Um, here it's got my name on it. Um, which So that's actually really thoughtful. Um, and it says hello 2018 and then it's in this really cute marble um, and I've got paperwork beyond belief in here so this is a like it looks like this inside I'll show you a blank page that I haven't written on um, and then I've got a bunch of important paperwork oh 20 piece just fallen out excellent okay so I've got letters that I personal can't really show you but what's all this paper okay this is just all personal letters so i'm actually not going to show you that but i'll take that out but yeah so this is the diary i just love it it's just so nice um it's small compact fits in my bag lovely and that was obviously a gift from my boyfriend because i love a diary every year so you've got my name engraved on it so that is everything that's in my handbag as you can see, I've got a lot of receipts. My life's just a bit of a mess, but there you go. Um, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Please give it a massive thumbs up, and I'll see you all in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.